Warning, if you like this movie, I respect and handle your opinion. But as long as you respect mine, we are on good terms. Thanks. This movie is worse than the 2021 version. Here's why. 1. Jared Leto's Joker. Oh my fucking god, this is the worst portrayal I have ever seen. They even gave him the worst designs too. Seriously, whose idea is this to give Joker some cringe ass tattoos, especially when the forehead said, damaged. Yeah, you guys definitely damaged the Joker alright. And the laugh sucks too, his laugh sounded like a door creak. This ain't even fucking scary at all, I've heard better Joker laughs than this. And no, the Joker from Zack Snyder Justice League isn't any better because the laugh is still the same. Thank God James Gunn didn't bring back Joker for the 2021 Suicide Squad movie, because that version would have sucked. 2. The Story The director, David Ayer made the story sound too much like Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 1. Try comparing these two movies and tell me if they are the same or different. I mean the crew dislikes each other for a while, then in the end, they become friends and defeat the villains coincidence? I think not. Thank God James Gunn made the plot original in the 2021 version. 3. The Marketing Strategy I remember looking at all the trailers, it was going to look like a Joker-focused movie. But guess what? He didn't have enough screen time. What the fuck? This is like clickbaiting your fans to think that you met Spider-Man on a Disney park, but then it ends up with a Mickey Mouse meet and greet not Spider-Man. Warner Brothers had made a stupid commercialized failure, what a retarded advertising strategy. Well that's all for the review. Enjoy your time. Bye.